What's going on, fellas? What we're looking at here is two different sizes of the Godzilla burner. We have the baby Godzilla on the bottom and the standard Godzilla on the top. These are both the air preheat augmentation version and these burners get pretty hot. So this is for Joe, who is running a sculpture center in Wisconsin. So let's uh, see what this thing can do. He's asked about the specifications. So we're gonna fire this thing up in the middle of a blizzard um, and check out what it can do. The weather's just out of the question. We're never gonna get a good day. So we're doing this in the shop. So here we are, this thing lights up pretty easy. Once you get it lit, you want to just leave it alone for a minute and let it warm up. Don't start jacking around with the settings right away because the hotter the combustion chamber is, the more stable the burn. You can see here we're running at about uh, 300 or 180 kilowatts there. Not too bad. Air input, right around 45 liters per minute, 1.5 standard cubic foot per minute. Pretty impressive little flame there. But uh, this is not the type of flame you would run inside of a forge or foundry. We're just kind of looking at what it could do. This is 300 kilowatts. I mean, you could run it like this for a good uh, reducing flame. 60 liters per minute. And that's what we get for that. That cowling is working out great, man. It's really helping keep that fuel burning. Looks like I've just turned up the uh, air and fuel there a little bit. Beautiful flame profile on this thing. That cowling is really just helping that tertiary air. And when you have this thing stuffed inside of a foundry, that's important. You see how blue the air is around the cowling area there? That thing's just acting like a Ventura pulling uh, more air into the combustion. We're at 400 kilowatts there and just over 100 liters per minute, just barely. So uh, very impressive flame right there. Just look at that profile. Nice blue color. This is diesel fuel we're testing on here. That's 300 kilowatts. About 130 liters per minute. This thing is really cranking some power out now. This is how we would want to run it inside of a foundry if we wanted to melt some cast iron. We got a back pressure here. About uh, 115 PSI. I'm going to crank it up to about 130 PSI to give us uh, just one heck of a screaming flame here. We could go more than this, but I'm pressed for time, guys. I just want to kind of get Joe some footage and get him down the road in a box because I want this thing to ship today. And I'm kind of trapped outside now. I can't really get back in the shop, but I make a run for it. And... Uh, <laughs> melted my clothes probably that thing is just screaming man look at that very impressive we're about 500 or what is that it's about 300 kilowatts i'm sorry right about 140 liters per minute and wow is that an impressive flame that right there could melt some serious cast iron in minutes from a cold start so this thing's definitely going to do the job joe uh, i don't see you having any problems melting anything You'd probably be uh, struggling to melt steel a little bit. You can get 2,600 degrees out of this thing without insulation on your foundry. Wow. But uh, it's best you insulate. That is a piece. All right, Joe. There you go, brother. I don't know what you're up to, man, but I can definitely say you're pretty badass. Anybody who would buy something like this is pretty cool in my book. So, I hope I got enough of that information as far as, uh, that was probably close to the upper end. We, we probably could have got a little bit more out of this, but I'm in a garage and I'm like burning myself alive trying to uh, get out of here and set the um, pressure any higher. So, I got to get you in a box, brother. Post office closes in like an hour and I got to drive through a blizzard to get there, so... This thing's going in the box hot, most likely. Don't worry, it happens a lot around here. <laughs>